You ready, Carl? You're up first. Woo! Luke's breaking the heat. Keep going, Kyle. This is the hardest part, I think. making our way up to Tokerville Falls. This is no small feat, you guys, because the road is very rough, and it just rained, and it's washed out. We have a truckload of RC cars, some with paddle tires, some without. We're gonna try and find a mud bog hole, and we're gonna try and race across the top of a waterfall, but first, we gotta make it up with this. This road is terrible. There's even someone behind us. They struggling to make it their way up the hill. So, Luckily, we got the Ford Raptor going on. No problem in the Ford Raptor. We're just crawling up in, in uh, rock crawl mode, actually. Oh, look at how rocky oh, there's this a big, is. Look at that shelf up there we got to crawl over. Oh, it boy. looks like a like a wall. <laughs> See it? It's just awesome. like a rock ledge. Am I doing it right? Oh, yeah, it looks good. Oh. There you go. Right up the ledge. We made it you guys look at this this is like the ultimate mud bogging perfect rc car track you have to cross the waterfall go up a hill climb through the mud bog through the boulders and then try and make it back across the waterfall to the beginning we're gonna see who wins but this area is really cool let's check it out just so you guys know i'm not joking this is a real waterfall right here it goes all the way over the edge all the way down over several steps and then drops into another big hole down there long ways down so on the race if you don't make it across the waterfall and you get stuck in the current you might even go over the edge i found my way down here wow look how pretty this is i'm so nervous i'm gonna slip and fall i've seen so many videos of people vlogging or trying to take selfies and then they just fall off the edge <laughs> not today you think that's deep? uh not deep enough i think people do jump off there but i don't think i want to try it it looks too murky and muddy. I don't know. Let's watch how dainty Gage cross the river. I'm trying to plan my path. Do it like oh, just, just run like a ninja. <laughs> Put your arms back and go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just go like this. <laughs> I'm gonna drop my phone. <laughs> Ha ha! Just taking pictures? Yep. No shoving me in? No. <laughs> <laughs> These rocks are so slick. I know. <laughs> so you gotta nice. watch your footing. Yeah. Check out this fun club. These guys are driving their UTVs across the waterfall. That looks sketchy. What I want to say is I want to be in their friend club. I know. We need to get one of those, don't we? Which one's your favorite rig, Jens? The orange one right there. Mine's that one right there. Yeah, that's that one's cute. a thousand R turbo. The orange one right there. Yeah, I think that one looks so awesome. It's way cool. I like that blue one. Yeah, the blue one's cool. The blue one's a little two-seater. Everybody was really nice. Look at that. They even got dirt bikes and everything. What a cool spot. This is dope. There's more of them coming, look at that. You can see how far down this waterfall goes. It's actually no joke. It drops off there and then goes down into an even bigger sinkhole down here and all the way out. So you don't want to go over. Okay, I'm going to give you guys an overview of our racetrack today. From the starting line over here, the RC cars one at a time are going to have to zip across the surface, hydroplaning the whole time to this deep water. And it is freezing cold right now, guys. Look at this, there's a big ledge right there, so we'll see who makes it up this. And then if you make it across the waterfall, next up, you have the giant hill climb. This hill climb is no joke either. It is straight up. I don't know who's been driving up this, but it is steep. If they make it down the hill climb without wrecking, then we have to make it through the mud bog right here and not get stuck in the swamp. And then you have to pass your way back through all this boulder minefield back across the river and to the starting line. What do you think, Kyle? I mean, I'm a wee. we have quite the setup for X-Maxes. We got three of them here. I'm gonna be driving the stock. 
So you guys have an advantage. Well, I'll take every advantage I can get because I need it, okay? The thing is, maybe I need to recruit a driver. I, I could, could recruit, recruit Gage or Luke to be on my team to help with it. No, Gage? I'm, I'm, I'm really bad. Don't, I, I'm a terrible idea. <laughs> Okay, Luke, do you think you can make it across? Because I don't want to recruit a driver who's worse than me. Um, I Are think you a better so, driver than me? Yeah. Running, I don't know. Are you running a pinch hitter? Hey, hey, I'm oh, just saying, I could recruit a driver for my car. Yeah. So we were just discussing that. Luke is actually taking his driver's ed test yes. today. So maybe Luke should see how well he does as a prequel to see how today's going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Luke, I hereby... Yeah. Uh, do you subscribe to this plan? I subscribe to this plan. Okay, we we officially mom's driver. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Technically, this is your truck. Mom painted it all pink on you, huh? Yeah, it is modded though. It has a titanium servo instead of a plastic. Truck. So, do you think that one's gonna do the best or the new X Max? Which oh, one? For, for sure, this one because it helps it run faster and it can't get rusted as easy. Right, and it actually has the paddle tires on, but the new X Max is gonna try it with the knobbies, and then this one's got some new paddle tires on, so we'll see in the mud which one of these setups actually performs the best and has the fastest run. You guys tell us down in the comments right now which car do you think is gonna win? I think my Raspberry Sherbet car is gonna <laughs> kill it! Raspberry Sherbet? You even have a hoodie to match, look at that. You all look the part. This is the one I'm gonna be driving today, and Kyle, are you gonna be driving that one? Oh, yeah. All right, let's do it. You ready, Carl? You're up first. I'm going first. You're going with the, what's the name of your car? I don't know. You guys tell me down in the comments below. I just gave it a fresh chrome paint job. Kind of looks like the silver the T2000 something. or the Silver Surfer. Oh, yeah. Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer oh, okay, Silver oh, Surfer is going to try and surf across the waterfall right now. No accidents, no whammies, no boulder mines. I'm going to make it all the way. Good luck. All right, we've got our first driver. This driver's seat's up here. Huh. All right, this is perfect. You can see all the way around the whole way up. Hopefully I make it and don't go over the waterfall. Everybody's ready? Here we go in three, two, one, go. section not doing too shabby let's see if he can make it back across the waterfall the other way he's going in reverse
I don't know which one you guys think did the best. Silver Surfer was pretty awesome. <laughs> Kyle's with the knobbies. That was a little bit of a rough run. Yeah. Kind of got a little swamp. And then this the one, yeah. pink Sherbert truck. That one, <laughs> Luke, I think you did an awesome job for your drivers that, that day. That was so fun. Let us know who you guys think had the fastest time at the waterfalls today in the mud bog and through the rocky minefield. And make sure if you like this video to click subscribe and turn on notifications. Check out all the other videos that you see on screen. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.